July 31st, about 8.30 a.m. here in the Mountain West. I have waited a couple of days because I was waiting to see if what I was seeing on Friday would actually continue, and it has, which today I wanted to focus in on several things that I think could be potentially affecting the jet stream. And specifically, now, I saw this started to form on Friday, and it has really kicked in gear, so much so you can actually see it's uh, split um, the southern uh, hemisphere polar jet stream. So, one of the things that I have been looking at um, is the surface temperatures of the ocean. Now, I think that this is significant in several ways. I believe that heat from the oceans that rise impact the jet stream. If the jet stream is already in a agitated state, the temperatures coming from the oceans uh, would play a role in that as well. And what I want to show you is I found some very interesting things that as we get into this video, you'll see how they begin to connect the dots. This is Japan. This is um, the Western Pacific. I'm going to put in here and I want to show you what the temperature is. That's 31.2 Celsius. That's uh, about 88 degrees. Uh, we go out here, 31.2 Celsius. Uh, we continue to go out here, 31.1 Celsius. And folks, this is getting out into where there's very little of anything. But I want you to see just how warm these water temperatures are. Here, 29.3. That's still about 86 degrees. Now, look over here in the Gulf of Mexico. I have heard and read uh, both sides of the debate that the Gulf Stream has stopped in the Gulf of Mexico. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, I do know that there are some really uh, odd anomalies taking place in the Gulf, uh, such as no hurricane. I believe it's now setting a record. But let's look at the uh, temperature over here. Look at that. It's 30.8, 30.9. Um, these are just extraordinary warm temperatures, which, okay, that definitely could have an impact, would you or would you not agree? So, here's the thought. Let's just put this into our equation. We're seeing very, very warm temperatures across not only the equator, but I think you could agree with me that this is really getting up here. And I know it's summertime. Uh, I get that. But still, this is a lot of hot water. Um, so now, let's go and take in another thing. I've been seeing comments about, well, if the Earth is about to experience uh, a magnetic pole reversal. Could we begin to track that? So I went in and began to get some data that I thought was relevant to this. And as you can see, it does appear, this is South Pole, North Pole. It does appear that our poles on both ends are actually changing and it gets better. So here is obviously 
uh, the North Pole. Ever ask yourself why this is always blocked out? This particular uh, website shows the satellite that is sitting directly over the North Pole. And this is always blacked out. But in any case, my point to this map is to show you how far the poles are truly wandering. And they're increasing. So we just add that. Now I want to talk about something else. Again, we saw how warm these waters are. We all are aware of what happened right here. That's Japan. That's Fukushima. We now know that that event, that it was not just a meltdown, was not just a breach, it was the China syndrome. Uh, <laughs> I remember watching that movie when it came out. And of course, you know, that was the doomsday scenario, a nuclear plant actually having a containment breach. Well, here, that scenario on play actually played out far worse than Chernobyl. So I wanted to go in and begin to look at some issues here. Now, this is a real-time map showing us um, everything right here with Japan. They use nuclear power uh, exclusively. That's how they get their uh, electricity uh, and all their power. Well, I wanted to go in and say, well, okay, um, how bad is it? Uh, folks, it's really bad. <laughs> it is really bad. So I found this video, and I thought it would really explain what's taking place in the Pacific Ocean, which I believe is going to become basically a vast dead zone. So I'll let the video just play out. And here we go. So you can see what's happened here. Um, as this graph shows that the level of radiation, excuse me, as I um, get a uh, map back up. So I just wanted to point out to you how bad of a situation this has really become, and it's only going to get worse. I believe that this could very well be as the reason, too, for the dramatic warm-up of the Pacific Ocean. So before we close out, let's just take a look at what is happening. And so I see flow coming from the northern jet stream down. I see another one right over here coming down. We've watched this monster just continue to build. By the way, here's a little curiosity for you. So give credit to Secure Team 10. Thank you, Tyler. I saw when he mentioned this, this is the uh, South Atlantic, and this is a huge whirlpool that's opened up. I uh, got the measurements on this and from here to here that measures out about 240 miles. So that's a big, big um, <laughs> whirlpool. Don't get your boat caught on that. And you can actually see what's very interesting. That uh, is right about here, this area here. So I think, folks, and look at here, here's another one. So I see multiple crossings. I think that the weather that has been in China and India is of 
it, it's, it's just heartbreaking. Um, the millions and millions of people who are been displaced because of unprecedented flooding. The desert is getting just bizarre weather, hail, snow. It's just really changing, folks, and we'll keep watching this. All right, have a good day.